Hey dolls. Okay. Um, I got a big update for y'all. Okay. So, um, my hair is really crazy. Please ignore it. I haven't really had time to do much with anything because everything has been so hectic lately. Um, awkward silence. Okay, so my mom was supposed to go in for chemo for her very first treatment of chemo on Thursday. She was going to go into the doctor to surgically have the port put in um, and then directly after just go to chemo. They were going to leave access to the port and she was just going to go directly to chemo afterwards and it was going to be her first session and all that jazz. Well, long story short, um, they get the, because of the chemo, um, it causes some sort of skin rash is what the doctor had said. So she prescribed her a prescription, which is a steroid, um, to kind of help with the rash and kind of prevent the rash and everything. Um, and my mom is supposed to take that the day before chemo, the day of chemo and the day after chemo, um, 12 pills total. So two pills twice a day so um and one of the major 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 uh, side effects of the pill is that it makes you really hyper and kind of jittery and um my mom had taken the pills the day before obviously she was supposed to go in for the chemo which was thursday the um 10th so she had taken the pill on the 9th she had taken the pills on the 9th and she was really jittery she was like crazy hyper and stuff and then on the 10th is when she was supposed to go in for the chemo after they put in the port. They went to go put in the port and they do a conscious sedation, which means that like you're awake, you're just kind of half asleep. So you're, you're, they don't fully knock you out like they would with, um, anesthesia or whatever. So she had a conscious sedation, so she was awake, but she wasn't like coherent as to what was exactly going on anyway because of the the steroid medication she was jumping around and all fidgety on the table in the operating room and the doctor had a hard time you know sitting her stuff like my mom didn't know she was doing it because consciously she was like out of it but she wasn't completely knocked out you know if she would have been completely knocked out then it would have prevented all the fidgeting around and going all crazy. But since she wasn't completely out of it, um, she, her brain wasn't asleep, put it that way. So it, her body was still moving and stuff. Um, anyway, because of that, the doctor had a hard time getting her to stay still. And, excuse the lights flickering, I'll get to that in a minute. Um, because... The doctor had a hard time getting her to stay still she ended up actually puncturing the end of the port into her aorta which is like a very oh my goodness I'll get to the lights flickering in a second oh my goodness okay so um the the port ended up puncturing the aorta barely like it was like really 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 close to it and the doctor was really, really scared and really, really nervous to um, remove the port and put it in a different position because she's never had that happen before. So if she would have, if something would have went wrong and the doctor would have removed the port wrong or something, the aorta could have ruptured causing blood clots to the brain and potential stroke. Um, so she didn't want to hurt my mom at all. So they told my mom to lay down. She couldn't even get up to go to the bathroom or anything. They had to bring her a bedpan. Um, and they told her to just lay down, lay completely still, leave that arm completely still, do not move around, do not shift, because then the port could shift and it could puncture the aorta and it could be really, really, really disastrous. So, um... What they did is they transferred my mom via ambulance. Um, I rode with her in the ambulance um, to um, a, a different doctor, a different hospital, to a cardiac surgeon. Um, and he told us, bef it was really, really scary, you guys. It was really scary. Um, the nurse came in and the doctor came in and everyone said, Worst case scenario, um, the aorta ruptures and causes traumatic bleeding 
and they call it cracking the chest but what cracking the chest means is they surgically just open up your chest and go in and operate on your heart um, he said that worst case scenario to stop the bleeding and everything we'd have to go in and do additional surgery to stop the bleeding in the heart and we'd have to crack your chest and get in there and it, it's possible there may not be a good outcome and so my mom was really 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 emotional um, because the doctors I, I honestly appreciate the doctors not lying to us and saying oh yeah we're just gonna go in and do this and do this and do this and then you'll be good to go I really appreciate them sitting down and saying you know this could possibly happen do you know where your paperwork is do you know where your will is do you know where this you know all this stuff is it was really really scary because um, you know my mom could have died on the operating table uh, but um update uh, she is home <laughs> uh, so I'll give you that much she is home um, uh, but anyway the so my sister and I were waiting out my sister and I were the ones at the hospital waiting and we were waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting anxiously because we knew that if the doctor would call too soon that would mean we'd have to go home and start getting paperwork together and it was just horrible. My mom started, before she went into surgery, she was just bawling her eyes out because she literally gave me and my sister her, our last hugs. Like, she seriously thought she wasn't going to make it. And I was tough through the whole thing. I didn't cry. Not because I'm not affected by it at all, but because I knew she would make it through it because we have so many people praying for her and I know she's not done on her on earth yet you know she's she's not done here she's she's not she is a fighter and she is gonna kick butt through all this like so many people how are you so strong how are you so strong I'll be honest with you guys um, I do cry but when my mom can't see me I'll I'll take a night and I'll sit here in my room in my bed and I will cry I'll just bawl my eyes out so then the next day I can wake up and be strong for her um, I don't I don't show my emotions towards her because I want her to see that um, I'm strong you know I need to be her rock if I'm not strong it's her seeing me upset is only gonna make her more upset so crying over it in front of her isn't really going to solve anything or resolve anything um, so I just try my best to stay strong and stay positive positive. Um, but yeah, yesterday it was it was kind of scary, but at the same time I knew that she was going to make it through. So, um the surgery went successful. They however had to clamp the aorta for a long 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 time, which is not a good thing um to prevent it from spewing. <laughs> I'll just put it in those terms, spewing out, um leaking, rupturing, bursting, um however you want to put it. Uh they had to clamp it down so it was like pinching it off like when you kink a hose and it doesn't spew the water out it was just like that they had to clamp it down um, they removed the port luckily if you guys keep up on my Instagram um, I had said how they may have had to position the port in her neck which was horrible because she's had several neck surgeries and the tissue scarring is horrible and it wouldn't have gone through properly and all that nonsense um, but luckily they were able to just kind of take it out shift it over and then put it in the proper place um, so it was because of this doctor that he kind of saved my mom's life, so it was amazing. Um, uh, but the surgery did go successful. Uh, there was no excess bleeding whatsoever. They didn't have to crack her chest, thank goodness. Um, and it, it, it all turned out okay, um, thank goodness. But we have had a lot of other stuff going on lately, um, like the lights flickering. We've had... Our lights have been doing this for a few days or so now um, and it's really really bad because it means the connections are loose somewhere and it could potentially potentially cause a house fire so we had one of our electrician friends come over and look at it last night and he basically said that <laughs> as I start flickering he tightened a lot of the connections and he basically said that it's really common because it's been hot here it's really common that if you have numerous air conditioners running and stuff you're gonna have some light flickering and we just recently got a new air conditioner for our living room so 
it makes sense that the lights are going to flicker. However, if it gets exceedingly bad or the power goes out at all, like together, um, actually the night before my mom went in to have the surgery and the chemo, there goes the lights again, we had the PUD, the electric company, at our house at two o'clock in the morning. And then we had to be up at five o'clock the next morning because we had to be in the hospital by like 6.30 or seven so she could have the surgery for the port. Anyway, long story short, none of us got any sleep whatsoever. So um, the night that we came home and everything was okay, we got amazing sleep. Um, but right now my mom is on pain meds and she's trying not to take them though. Uh, she wants to kind of just, you know, power through the pain and just kind of be as coherent as she can. Um, and she is supposed to start chemo on the 15th, on Tuesday. So we're going to see how her wound heals and everything. And we're going to go in on Tuesday for supposedly her first chemo session. We're going to try and do it then. And I will keep you guys updated from there. Um, because of this huge traumatic scary instance, um, when they put the port in, they wanted to take an x-ray and a CAT scan or a CT scan in order to see if it was positioned properly and that's how they knew that it wasn't um, by the x-rays. Well, when she got to the next hospital, they wanted to take an additional x-ray and an additional CT scan in order to make sure it hadn't shifted on the ambulance right there. Um, to see whether or not they actually had to do the surgery and to verify everything. So that was an additional. And then after they repositioned the port and redid everything, then they needed to do an additional x-ray, an additional CAT scan to again make sure that it was in the right spot. So our medical bills have gone through the roof because of yes, the uh, day before yesterday, whenever it was, the 10th because she was not expecting to have that many x-rays or CT scans or bouncing to the other hospital and having to have multiple IVs and multiple this and multiple that and all these tests that they're running and everything weren't at all. And it was by no means the doctor's fault who put the port in wrong. It was because my mom had taken those steroid medications before and she was all jittery and the doctor couldn't get her to stay still. So my mom is going to call on Monday and apologize because she doesn't want something like that to happen to someone else. Um, so we definitely need to t tell the doctor to ask those questions if they have someone going in for the same circumstances that we were because we do not want to have that scare for someone else. It was absolutely terrifying. <laughs> so um, I just wanted to update you guys on everything that's going on. And I just want to say please, 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 as much as I appreciate the video requests and everything, please hold them off. Please don't tell me which videos to do and what you want to see just yet because I honestly have all those videos already on a list that I need to film. Um, so all of you guys saying, oh, do updated what's on my iPhone, do updated what's in my purse, do updated this, do another haul, do this. It's all on my list, you guys. I just, it's hard for me to get to everything right now because of everything going on. I am filming this on my iPhone right now, so I'm sorry for the poor quality. I'm just going to upload it directly. I'm not even going to edit it or anything because it's just, I, I'm going to try and take some time out. My family is coming down tonight. My aunt and my uncle are coming down today, so I need to spend time with them. But I think I'm going to stay up late tonight in order to crack out a couple editing um, videos because I have videos filmed. I have a few filmed. It's just a matter of editing, but editing and upload can take up to like, seven to ten hours so I think I'm gonna stay up late tonight after everyone goes to bed and crack out some editing um, and yeah that's pretty much it so I will keep you guys updated again there is a donation page if you want to donate please don't feel obligated to but it's just an option every little tiny penny counts and helps towards this like I said we weren't expecting our bills to skyrocket so with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and go, and I will talk to you all soon. The donation page will be linked below. It's manna31409.com slash donate. And like I said, feel free to go there and just read the story and donate as you so choose. Um, but you do not have to at all whatsoever. 100% of the proceeds are going to go towards my mom's medical tour work for the cancer and the port and all that stuff that happened the other day. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and go, and I will talk to you all in my next video. So until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you.
goodbye.